Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and today we're gonna keep it short and sweet. I don't wanna waste your time. This isn't about getting your expectations up or anything like that either, so take it with a grain of salt. It's not official, it's not coming from 343 yet. I am gonna say why I think that there is some truth to this leak slash rumor. That being said, if you wanna stay up to date with Halo's stuff, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If we hit 15,000 subs by the end of this year, I will do a Halo 4 Cortana cosplay or I will paint my toenails on stream. So everyone's favorite Twitter follow, and if he's not your favorite, he should be, Serasia tweeted, and I somehow missed this, that it looks like there's more than just the Carbine SMG that's come into Infinite. Very strange. He posted a tweet saying, Fuel Rod Cannon seems to be coming back, plus the double barrel shotgun, aka the mutilator that we've known about for forever at this point, which is crazy. But there's something else that goes along with this, and that's that the HCS World Championship takes place this weekend in Seattle. And at the World Championship, they have all these panels where they, you know, have people who cosplay come up, content creators talk about making content on Halo, all types of things. But one of the panels is the Halo Infinite Development Deep Dive. And this is going to be on Friday where you can join members of the team to learn more about the development process behind recent updates to Forge and get a preview of some exciting things on the horizon on Saturday. The team will take a closer look at what goes into a Halo Infinite sandbox overhaul. Interesting. Now normally, that I, I don't know if they would do that, but these three weapons seem like they would be a huge addition to the sandbox. A preview, you say? Hmm, indeed, indeed, indubitably. Again, you gotta follow Serasia. Now, why do I think, you know, all these leaks and rumors and stuff need to be taken with a grain of salt, but like, if this is the first time that we're seeing, like, the fuel rod cannon and stuff like that coming out, you know, we've talked on the channel about Halo's next game being, like, the CE remake remaster thing coming out in 2026 for the 25th anniversary, and it's like, are we supposed to keep playing Infinite? We talked about this on a live stream. Shameless plug, make sure you go follow Twitch. It's in the description. We talked about on the live stream, like, are we supposed to keep playing Halo Infinite for, you know, another two years? What if there is no Halo CE 2026 multiplayer? Like, what are we going to do? But these type of things where they're adding new weapons, I think, would greatly help, you know, kind of push the longevity along. Now, I'm not going to post any pictures or anything like that of those weapons. I'm pretty sure that you can get in trouble for that, so I'm not going to do it. And I know some of you are going to be like, this is too little, too late, blah, 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 blah. I get that. I understand. You've moved on. You're playing other games or you're still playing Halo Infinite, but you hate yourself. So you're just going to be mad playing Halo Infinite, maybe. I don't know. But with the recent video from Mr. Reps talking about the cancellation of Tatanka completely, I feel like there's a ton of stuff that they can utilize that was supposed to be in that game mode and just put it in Halo Infinite, hopefully. That way there's no like, you know, waste of money, time, and resources. Because at the end of the day, if they worked on that for however many years and, you know, paid however many people to work on it, it is. That's a waste of time, money, and resources. So hopefully they can, you know, reformat it, I don't know, and put it in Halo Infinite somehow, and we can all be happy-go-lucky kids. Anyways, that's going to do it for the video. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments how you feel about this, too little, too late, all that stuff. Are you happy that it's these weapons? Do you think we're going to see more, you know, going forward? Let me know who's going to win the world championships this weekend. I think it's going to be FaZe because they haven't won in a long time. And it just seems like something that they would do. But yeah, I will uh, catch you guys around the ring. Peace!